I got this from the Dollar Tree. Just cover that up. All right, now carefully lower this into the boiling water. And using some tongs, you can go ahead and submerge this almost completely, just like this. All right, once you see this breaking up, you can take this out, set another bowl right on top, and carefully remove the tape. Perfect. Next, just pour this out, and you can use a fork here to pull out the whole thing and drop it in. Next, I got this from the Dollar Tree as well. This is lavender wax. Add that in. I like to add two for this, along with some citronella and some fresh mint from my garden. Now, as this melts here, using a fork, simply grab the wick right from that concoction and save this on the side. As we're finishing here, remove the mint leaves. Okay, this is perfect now. Now, I like to use the religious candles for this repellent because they're usually unscented as opposed to the color ones that have a scent. Now, you can use this to refill our repellent, but I'm going a simple route with this. Now, stick the wick back in and pour in your hot wax. Mosquitoes are going to hate this, so now that cheap unscented candle is gonna do you some good. Next, grab some tape and tape this like this. So the wick stays right in the middle, not going anywhere. Such a cool color this is. Now you just wanna let this fully set. The best way to set this quickly is to put it in the fridge. So now this is done. Okay, now it's time to set it outside. And now just remove the tape. Boop. Next, using scissors, snip the wick. We're gonna light this up. So now we have a beautiful citronella lavender peppermint candle. The bugs hate this. And this was so cheap as opposed to paying so much money for these specialty bug candles. Option to keep the religious votive if you would like, which was so beautiful. Or you can keep it nice and simple, just like this. It's your choice. Both keep the bugs out.